<laughs> oh yeah, got some Liege waffles because I don't know how much longer we're gonna be able to eat them. <laughs> We've got the assorted snacks. Nom nom nom. So we have the old city of Bruges or Brugge, if you're uh, from around here. And uh, down here, you see the canals here in Bruges. This is why it's called the uh, the Venice of Northern Europe, or at least Belgium. <laughs> They're pretty though. <sighs> the canals are so pretty. Oh. Wow, I can only imagine what Gaithorn would be like over in the Netherlands. <laughs> oh, they have a little path down here. This is beautiful. Little gardens. Wow, there's a certain tranquility here. Along these canals, these little gardens. They're so cute. <laughs> the canal's right there. And this is muddy. <laughs> Look at that, there's two little whirlpools. They have a little bridge over the canals. That is so pretty. Wow. Wow, got a little bit of area where all the algae and stuff has grown up. It's so interesting. It's a very natural place here. Whoa. All these little courtyards here. Huh. Yeah, we are in the old city. It's quite pretty. Very pretty little spot here. This entire old city is real pretty. Bon. It's a horse fountain. Oh, Mr. Horse Fountain, what wisdom do you have to impart on us? This one. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Wow. What a beautiful little place in here. Make prettier pictures. They look prettier, you know? I don't know if he's supposed to be here. This is so cool, this being here. The water flows underneath this little place. You can even see some of it flowing through there. Very interesting. It comes out, goes straight over that way. Huh. <laughs> huh? Having a bit of a fight, are we? How's it going, swans? Oh, hello there. Oh, he's giving me a stink eye. I see it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, here for too many croissants. It's such a nice day in Bruges. Needless to say, Lexi is excited. <laughs> she, no joke, debated buying four waffles. I only bought two, though. <laughs> Look at this beautiful little canal. It's just so cute here. Whoa. This is an interesting little sculpture. It's almost like a bouquet of different kind of like, there's quills, flowers, roses, loud cars, stabs, and then like frogs. Very interesting. Oh, and friends, that ends our day here in uh, Bruges and Ostend. So we're walking back to the train station. Lexi wants to buy more waffles. 
She has a problem. Um, but yeah, we're getting back with enough time so that she can get her stuff and we can comfortably make it to the train. jerking and jostling if it was breaking like just suddenly so weird ride I can see you in the window Lexi we're here back in Verivier it's a family dock outside just getting some groceries with the fam so we've returned here to the facility. What are we doing, Emily? Crying. We're canceling all of our free travel plans. And we spent hours on conference calls. I know, we spent like eight hours planning this trip. I cried when I canceled mine. And uh, just to make it even worse, I was writing a nice little note to this, to this host who we were gonna stay with in Scotland. And uh, Grammarly had to be just so kind here and to tell me that my tone was very sad and confident. <laughs> wow, thanks. <laughs> there. He's an octopus oh, and his octopus. name is Scooter. Oh, he's so happy. Oh, he wants to hug everyone. All right, showing up again for another evening of news. That the decision was made to bring you all back to the U.S. as, as soon as possible. This has actually become a matter of some urgency as access to transportation is shrinking. Most airlines have canceled many of their flights between European countries and the U.S. and you will be required to take a raft. Most airlines have canceled many of their flights between European countries and the U.S. In addition, industry leaders will believe that this will be the case for several weeks. We are at this very second. We can just hear Jimmy saying that. Dr. J. At this very second in the process of purchasing tickets for a United flight um, from Brussels to Washington, D.C. and then to final domestic points of return on... Terminal, please. Wednesday. So look, you are going to get a travel day on Wednesday. Oh, um, no. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. no, I'm sorry. No. That was... Like, no. the day is to tomorrow. Okay. That means... Okay. I'm not telling you what happens. Okay. This means you will not have a French test tomorrow. Mom. Wait, what about a Reformation history test? No. Right, here we go. That means you will need to begin discussing how to spend your next 24 to 36 hours. Why um, all the European tonight? Uh, there will be a lot for you to do. So much so that in the um, Belgium handbook, there is an entire page of end of the semester tasks to be done. This place has to be completely and perfectly, um, you know, ready to go. Just like we walked in the door, we found the sheets folded in the back, you know, the back, and you got your own tub and your sheet pack was in there, et cetera, et cetera. An example of the I'm going to do the only thing that I know to do. Take it around to the water. Watch a Minecraft speed run. <laughs> 